Welcome guys! The time has come for another big recoil comparison video between all the assault rifles and also comparing the new assault rifle behavior to the previous patch, so you can see exactly how your favorite rifle got changed. I always perform these tests with the best possible setup for each weapon to compare them to their full strength. This is important as some weapons take a different amount of attachments, which is why a naked weapon comparison won't really make sense, as you most likely won't run around with a naked scar L for an entire game. All weapons will be using a half grip, a compensator and a tactical stock when and if applicable. Because of the feedback I received from the PUBG community regarding my previous recoil analysis videos, I will now also be taking a closer look at the burst behavior of the weapons in a 10 bullet burst analysis. The first 10 bullets are interesting because those will be deadly to all enemies regardless of armor and if hitting the hands. A weapon with a good 10 bullet burst is simply going to win more direct duels overall. The damage and rate of fire of the weapons however will not be compared, and it should be noted that the difference in damage between a 5.56 and a 7.62 assault rifle bullet is 6 damage per bullet. This is a spray and burst analysis video. The handling of all weapons will be compared side by side in the end of the video. So let's get started with the tests, and the first assault rifle to be tested is the M416. The weapon handles extremely well with almost no horizontal recoil, which exactly proves why the half grip is the new best grip for spraying. In the recoil analysis we can see that the vertical recoil took a huge hit in the latest patch when we compare it to the pre-patch behavior, and this is why many say that they can't control the spray anymore but arguably the spray is now easier to control due to the low horizontal recoil in the first 10 bullets. All you gotta do to control this is to pull down a little harder and you will be fine. However, when you look closer at the first 10 bullets in the burst plot, you'll notice the jump from the first bullet to the second is higher than the jump between the rest. This is very important to know as you'd need to pull down slightly more in the first bullet and then move your mouse down with constant speed after because the bullets have similar spacing after that first jump. Note that this jump can be lowered using a vertical grip, but since you would get more horizontal recoil, I wouldn't recommend it. Now to the Scar L, a weapon that still has a lower rate of fire than the M416 and for that reason is considered by many to be easier to control. Again we see a very fine predictability in the handling with decently low horizontal recoil. Comparing the new SCAR to the old, I would almost say that it got buffed, because you do have very good handling early in the spray, and the horizontal movement seems to be more consistent when it happens, and won't just jump left and right as it did before when you get a bit into your spray. The 10 bullet burst plot looks almost exactly the same as the M416 with high consistency between bullets and the big jump between the first bullet and the second bullet. A side by side comparison will follow later in the video. Next up is the M16A4. It is possible to spray with this weapon if we simply click as fast as we can while in burst mode. A burst mode that makes it a close range favorite to many, but how about the handling? Compared to its pre-patch behavior and based on this test, the M16A4 got the highest nerf of all the assault rifles. The handling has taken a big hit. I really feel like the handling should be better for a weapon that is already going to require the user to spam click to get the spray behavior. Or maybe this is just a hint that the developers don't want us to use this weapon for spraying. In the 10 bullet burst plot we again have the jump between the first and the second bullet but we also have very high inconsistency between the bullets. This makes it really hard to get those first 10 bullets to hit in the same place and just makes this weapon a really bad choice for spraying when you get a bit of distance to your target. The next weapon is the AKM and we already know that it got a huge buff in horizontal recoil which shows big time even before analyzing the results.
Compared to its pre-patch behavior, the AKM is now a spray machine with that sweet low amount of horizontal recoil. It always had to jump between the first bullet and the next and now still does and handles identically in the first 5 bullets only with some more vertical recoil compared to before. The consistency of the 10 bullet burst is worse than the M416 and the SCAR L but overall super good when you take into consideration how this weapon handled before and when you remember that this is a 762 weapon that does 6 more damage per bullet compared to the 556 assault rifles. The low rate of fire also make this vertical recoil a lot more manageable. Also note that the vertical recoil increases the more you spray with the weapon. A behavior that is typical for the 762 assault rifles. Now to the AUK A3, which I did compare to the M416 before the patch, and back then it had almost identical handling. But now this weapon starts to prove its worth. An insanely low amount of recoil overall, which is almost identical behavior to the pre patch version. This AUK is as good as the same as the one you picked up before the big nerf to the assault rifles and it now clearly belongs in an airdrop crate because of this alone. The 10 bullet burst plot again has to jump between the first and the second bullet but a super tight and predictable shred between the rest. Finally it's the Graza and for the record that name is Russian and is pronounced that way. A significant vertical recoil shows itself even before analyzing the results but how does it compare to its older version? So the Graza has more vertical recoil than before, but the horizontal is much lower and significantly more predictable. This is what I would consider a big improvement in the overall handling. The burst plot shows the same jump between the first and the second bullet and the consistency in the spray is not amazing, but not that bad either. Worth noting is that if you look at the end of the spray, the spacing between the bullets increases quite a lot making a full spray increasingly harder to control. So this is how all the spray patterns look before the patch. And this is how they look now. Overall the horizontal recoil has been significantly reduced and I think the most important thing here is that the change in horizontal recoil direction now happens far less frequently compared to what it did before. This actually means that the horizontal recoil can now be controlled a bit more than before, since if your weapon starts pulling to the side it is more likely to keep doing that much longer than before, making horizontal adjustments more reliable. The AUK also stands out here as the clear beast of spray control closely followed by the M416 that surely has more vertical recoil but still extremely low horizontal. The SCAR L is good but it tends to pull a bit more to the side which is a minus for the longer sprays. The M16A4 is just a terrible weapon for spraying now and certainly should not be used for spraying down targets other than at very close range. The AKM and the Graza both has very similar handling and behaves the same in terms of vertical recoil acceleration. The vertical recoil on both of these weapons will increase the longer you spray with them. Looking at the 10 bullet burst plot, we can see that all the weapons share the jump between the first and the second bullet, which is important to know as you need to pull down slightly more in the beginning of the spray to ensure perfect accuracy. The AUK has the tightest spread in the first 10 bullets. The M416 and SCAR L are almost the same. The AKM and Graza are also almost the same. And the M16A4 is hard to get consistent here. Keep in mind that the behavior of the M16A4 also changes with how fast you click your mouse. I clicked as fast as I could while ensuring my mouse was perfectly stable and based on the test I did I would never use the M16A4 over any other assault rifles for spraying on ranges further than 10 meters away. Unless I had no other choice of course. Now that was quite a lot of analysis and talk about assault rifles and we now know how the handling of all the rifles stack up against each other. I also post conclusive images of these videos on Twitter, so follow me on Twitter if you want easy access to grabbing those on a consistent basis. If you like the video, subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated on future content. And I will see you guys next time.